Dear America, we're under attack by bad ideas. Bad ideas are going to destroy this nation. The only thing that you can do when you're under attack is to fight back. The idea of racism and victimhood is going to destroy this nation. If you're a heterosexual black male in America, your best friend is the conservative white heterosexual male. Ooh, I know you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that fun fact, but it's the truth. I'm speaking directly from being in the military and by my side to the left, and by my side to the right were white men who were willing to fight for and die for not only this great nation, but for me, a black man. These were my friends. Tell the truth and get some power. Have you ever heard of W.E.B. Du Bois? N-A-A-C-P, W-E-B Du Bois, intellectual, the black bourgeoisie. This man was not fighting on behalf of other black people. The N-A-A-C-P isn't fighting on behalf of other black people. It's a political organization that's affiliated with white power. Ooh! <laughs> W.E.B. Du Bois assassinated, politically assassinated, politically castrated another black man. Have you ever heard of Marcus Garvey? Are you a Garveyite? Marcus Garvey was one of the most powerful black men that ever existed in the history of America, and he was taken down by another black man, W.E.B. Du Bois. And so why are you out there screaming about some white supremacy? Why won't you acknowledge what Du Bois did to Marcus Garvey? W.E.B. Du Bois went after Marcus Garvey, wrote letters, and got that man sent to prison. A black man had another black man incarcerated, and right now in 2022, you're going to give me ideology that tells me that every black man is my friend. If a black man ain't in my tax bracket, that, that man ain't my friend. He doesn't, he's not looking out for me. He's not looking out for the interests of politically and economically challenged people in America. He's only trying to protect his pockets. If you ever hear a millionaire black man talk about racism, I think that based on the color of my skin, I should make as much money as my white peers. If you want to have a real hero in America, have you ever heard of Dick Gregory? He was powerful. He was able to stand up against ideas and say, no matter what you think about me, I am free and I will execute this freedom however I see fit. Dick Gregory took his money and fought on behalf of the poor. Dick Gregory was a class trader. By class, he was a rich man. But by actions, he fought for poor black people in America. Tell the truth and get some power. Ain't nobody holding you back. Your bad ideas are holding you back. Look at our forefathers. White men came across the ocean because they wanted some economic and political freedom freedom and so they fought for it and they died for it black men in america if you want some political and economic freedom in america fight for it be willing to die for it stand up on your beliefs tell the truth yes your ally in america is the heterosexual white conservative man why because he's fighting for his family just like you're fighting for your family. He's trying to take care of his kids just like you're trying to take care of your kids. He's going to war and dying for America just like you're going to war and dying for America. And so when I look at history and I see that black men have sabotaged other black men, I ain't walking around thinking that every black man in America is my friend. I'm not going to tell myself that lie. Hell no. Please let go of your ego and become a hero. Stand up and embrace the power which is yours in America. Strong men stand up. All bullshit sits down. These are facts. When strong men fight back, then there is no opposition. Can't nobody stand up against real power, actual power, not perceived power. Man, you know what? Everyone in America has feelings. I got a little joke for you and your feelings. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't care. I don't give a fuck about your feelings, man. <laughs> Shit. Understand your history. Understand your present time right now. Look at the conditions of America. You need economic and political freedom. You need to save yourself. I'm an American citizen. My parents were born in America. My grandparents were born in America. My great-grandparents were born in America. I am an American. And how dare I try to deny my birthright in the place that I live. If I don't like something in America, I got to make it better. If I don't like something in my life I gotta make it better I have to hold myself accountable for my political power and my duty to be a man in this great nation and when men don't stand up and be great when men don't let go of their egos and become heroes then we watch America start crumbling and I'm watching America it's crumbling right now bad ideas are destroying my great nation we're under attack and the only thing that you can do when you're under attack is to fight back go have conversation with other men who share similar ideology is you and go and make some allies and after you make these allies create your own political organizations i ain't telling nobody in america to be no republican 
or no Democrat. I ain't finna tell you to subscribe to a political organization that don't care about you. All they care about is political power and putting money in the pockets of their super PACs. It'd be so amazing if people like LeBron James and other millionaires were to create a black super PAC to get actual power for black men in America, but they won't get no power. Instead, they'll try to claim victimhood. Somebody, somebody, please, please help me. Help yourself, man. You got the resources and the information to come and get some actual tangible power in America. You know what American men need? They need the same thing that men who came back from World War II needed. They built suburban homes for men who came back from World War II, and that's the exact same thing that men in America need right now. We need homes and cars so we can get to and from work so we can take care of our families. It's my duty in America to have a home and a car and a family and protect that community that I build. The only thing that's stopping you from being powerful is the man in the mirror. The American man determines his value. The American man has to stand up for his children. The American man has to fight for his woman. Good dear America we're under attack. And the only thing that you can do when you're under attack is to fight back. Knock these sons of bitches out. Every bad idea, these are the sons of bitches that I'm referring to. Knock these stupid ass ideas out to the damn moon because it's time to have a real revolution in America. An ideological revolution Every veteran in America should be standing up and fighting for freedom. You're willing to die for freedom. Live for freedom. Be a hero to your nation, man. You don't have to pick up a single weapon. Have better ideas. Pick up a book. <laughs> How dare you let this nation crumble? How dare you let your family be torn apart by the court system? How dare you let a weaker person dictate to you any terms? When someone passes a law that tells me I'm a slave, you know what I do? I fight for the Emancipation Proclamation, motherfucker. I go get free. <laughs> We have invisible shackles on men in America right now called child support, called the family court, holding American men back from being powerful. But instead of changing these laws and getting some for real political freedom, you'd rather sit back and cry like a bitch and no longer will Project Daddy stand back and do nothing. Tell the truth and get some fuck you power, nigga. <laughs> America is under attack by bad ideas. And the only way that we can heal this great nation is if we stand up and do the work. Do not be Mr. Du Bois. Be Marcus Garvey, but fight harder than Marcus Garvey. Be Dick Gregory. Use your resources to end poverty in America. Use your resources to build your community. It's time for you to embrace your duty as the greatest American alive, baby. The greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.